What's up, YouTube perverts? Welcome back to another episode of AM Training. So I want to say sorry for uh, being a spaz and not uploading as much as I could because for the last three, yeah, I, I didn't upload the last th two, three weeks. So, um, and the last video was week one of the cycle of a six week cycle of my meat prep. I mean, these were probably the most important videos that you want to see, but I was a little on the sick side and also uh, my schedule has been all over the place with um, not having school for winter vacation. So um, usually I record my videos uh, right before class. And since I didn't have class, I didn't record any videos, which is well, shame on me, I know, but um, well, let's just talk about what's happening. So this is real time. This is, uh, I pretty much have, uh, this is, yeah, you're watching this. This is Friday, um, Friday, was it uh, January 10th? Um, I have my meet in two days. So uh, I was going to talk about accessories for all of this, all these videos that uh, lead it up to, uh, that leads up to the meet, but um since this is the last video that you'll see right before my meet video, uh, let's talk about my openers. So, or let's t let's give you a little update. Um, the reason why I have also not been uploading is because I've been a little on the sick side. I'm not sure if it's a cold, or, but it was or fever. But uh, it's just one of those things where your your bones ache and you just kind of feel like your your spine hurts. Not like in like Snap City, but like if you ever had the flu you know how like you just kind of move your body and that just hurts um along with like runny nose sore throat coughing i've had all that so i don't think it was the flu but um my wife says it's the man flu so basically um the man flu is me making stuff up in my mind apparently um but uh, uh she swears like i'm a big baby when it comes to being sick but i still freaking do everything i still like i don't like just lounge around in bed but i do complain because I, I you know who likes being sick anyways um <clears throat> let's talk about openers because that's yeah i mean that's what is interesting in my head so uh i went to iron mongers i went to iron mongers to do my openers and uh i have to tell you the truth it it, it didn't feel good <laughs> uh so i last block i did my opener for 500 smoked it uh this block I did 490 as an opener and it, it didn't feel good. It, I mean, which is weird because it felt really light, probably the lightest on my back, like it's, it's unrack it easy. Uh, but when it came down to squat it, it just felt slow, like really slow. And that kind of freaks me out. But again, I just have to trust the process. Hopefully I uh, peak myself perfectly. I am a little hesitant that I um, probably peak myself maybe a little early because um, I did have to pull back the volume in order to um, make up for me being a little on the sick side. So uh, I still kept the intensity, but the volume kind of dropped off at least by half uh, for these past couple weeks of training because again, I just it was just really difficult to get into a gym where uh, whether it was time-wise or um, just motivation-wise. I don't know why. Like it's weird because I'm so motivated when I don't have a meet, but when I have a meet, uh, it's weird because I did I did all my accessories and I think maybe that's what kind of threw me off as well is that I maybe have burnt out myself a little bit too quick again that's why I'm thinking that I probably peaked myself early but again I don't want to put those negative thoughts in my head because that is uh, not good two days right before your meet um, and then let's talk about the bench press the bench press was 265 as my opener um, it's pretty much my bench press <clears throat> no big deal uh, it's like nothing significant happens with my bench press uh especially with the nerve injury um i mean it's still a little on the crooked side uh openers you can't really see it but once it starts going into the second or third attempts or also depending on how many reps i did be before that then uh then i start to notice that it starts to die off so <clears throat> that maybe play a factor into how i warm up maybe less warm up for my um for my bench press and then <clears throat> my deadlift. Deadlift is a little on the sadder side since um, me getting sick. I feel like me getting sick is like an excuse. It's such a common excuse where, you know, 
uh, people on Instagram will like white knight themselves where white knight yeah white knight that's the right saying where they're like it's okay bro I was just a little on the sick side that day plus I had like only two hours of sleep and I didn't eat a lot plus there was like sun in my eyes so like <clears throat> I'm just giving you an update on my feelings, and if it sounds like I'm making excuses, I apologize. <laughs> but uh, again, uh, deadlift, it sucks because 580 was my planned opener, uh, at least the last block, because I could do that for a triple. Uh, then I moved it to 560, and then during Iron Mongers, uh, my opener day, just everything felt heavy, so 540 was uh, probably a safe bet. We'll just kind of ramp up the the attempts a little bit more aggressive toward the end if I'm feeling good <clears throat> so uh, I just want to make sure I don't bomb a meet because 540 will be my opener but then I'll be a little bit more aggressive toward the end where uh, hopefully I can at least hit a 600 deadlift uh, that is going to be the plan uh, but again we'll see how I feel <clears throat> and let's um <clears throat> excuse me uh, so let's talk about my Let's talk about the TSA opener or attempt selection. So this is pretty much how I program all my clients. Um, I just pretty much got this from uh, the strength athletes, uh, you know, Bryce Lewis's posse where uh, they uh, made a nice little uh, spreadsheet of you just enter in like your uh, your goal for, yeah, your goal for the squat bench deadlift for your third attempts. And then it pretty much uh, calculates your uh, attempt selection, uh, which is pretty much um, 91%, 96%, 100% uh, respectively with one, two, and third attempt. Um, so, and then you could probably see that there's like on the second and third attempts, there's a, a number below and a number above. So all that means is that if your opener went okay, or it, it went okay, then you just move on to the middle number. If it felt really, uh, really hard, then you're gonna pick the lower number, which is like 95%. Uh, and then if it went pretty difficult, like if it went really easily, then you're gonna bump up that uh, that percentage up maybe 1%, which is gonna be 97-ish percent for uh, that uh, higher number for the second uh, attempt. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and then vice, uh, same thing for the third attempt. If your uh, second attempt moved really well, then you move up or you move down respectively. So again, this is a great thing. I mean, there's no, um, yeah, there's, why, why fix what's not broken? So again, I do this with all my clients, it's worked really well, um, and um, yeah. Uh, yeah, which speaking of clients, my client is going to, my client slash sister-in-law, she's gonna do uh, her meet tomorrow, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. It's her first meet, and she decided that she wanted, <clears throat> she wanted to cut. I usually, um, you know tell my clients like if it's your first meet don't worry about the cut i think she's freaking out a little bit right now because she had to cut like five pounds or so uh so we just did like the water um the water a water cut where you take like what two gallons you drink about one or two gallons you drink a crap load of uh, water uh, maybe four four days out and then you start to taper off where you know you're three days out you drink one gallon um two days out you drink half and then um, like right before weigh in, you kind of cut your water. Uh, the whole idea with that is that, um, uh, you know, uh, your, your systems, cause I was going to get all crazy fancy on you, your anti-diuretic hormone, ADH, um, your pituitary, I don't know if you want to hear this, but anyways, uh, make it long, long story short, it's delayed. So if you start drinking water, your body's going to think that it's going to continue ke keep getting water, but then you cut it off and you're still going to start peeing out that water, even though that there's no incoming water. I think that, uh, summed it up. Anyways, <clears throat> uh, it's going to be awesome because she's even doing cosplay. Uh, if you Naruto fans are out there, um, she is going to do, uh, a, um, a Conan. I think that's her name. Anyways, she's from the Akatsuki and, uh, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. I'll, I'll be handling her uh, tomorrow, and then after that will be my meet. So stay tuned for my meet. <laughs> train hard, train smart.